you know, you can, you can do good and have fun at the same time, and that's what we're doing here tonight. The Battle of the Badges is back for the first time since 2015. You know what? We sold out in two weeks, so you know the, the city was hungry for it. I think it's uh, important that we all come together, recognize um, uh, heroes, uh, people who are willing to put their lives on the line for us every single day. The event showcased the FDNY Bravest Boxing Team facing off against the NYPD Finest Boxing Team. It's a great rivalry. You know, it's like brothers fighting against brothers. I mean, you know, I have, uh, you know, there's four brothers in my family. We can knock each other out and, and then the next second hug each other and be there uh, for each other. And that is really what this is all about the love that they have for, for each other, but most importantly, the love they have for their community. All of the proceeds benefit the Tunnel to Towers Foundation and the NYC Cops and Kids boxing team. It's unbelievable. The fire department and police department do so much for all of us every day, right? And they come together for a night like today uh, and raise money uh, for two great worthy causes. And we do have a rivalry, but at the end of the day, uh, when we leave here um, and we go back into like, regular life, like we work together side by side. Terminal 5 was packed for what marks the 32nd Battle of the Badges. It's more than I expected, but I'm more than ready for it. This year was special as it featured a bout between two female fighters for the very first time. I'm really excited because I know my opponent already and I know we're going to get in there and have a really good time and put on a really good show. You know, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation, we're so proud and so honored that there's so many people that have joined us on our mission uh, to take care of first responders. In Hell's Kitchen, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.